So I went full Salatin. Not really. Uh, so last night, uh, one of the other video shows, I built a tractor, chicken tractor. And then this morning I realized I have to clean out the duck area, our little pond that we've got. I've got a kid pool. That's what they're in because they can't jump out inside of our brood room, which is like, I don't know. It's not even a brood room. It's a fourth, three season room. Anyway, so I built the chicken tractor and now it's a duck tractor. So I guess it's a duck, ducking tractor. Let's see how these guys like it. So these are the little ducks now. Yeah. So if you're wondering, so the, the, the two lighter colored ones, they came in, um, we got them at Tractor Supply. They were not very healthy at all. There's the, there's most of our flock, our laying flock at least. Uh, there's some leftover food. You guys are good. You guys are good. I'm just gonna grab this while I talk. Um, so they're, they're not very healthy. They're not full strength, if you will. And that has to do with them not having access to, you know, the outside, fresh grass, sunlight, but niacin, um, which they can get in their yeast flakes and things like that. But naturally, it happens outside. They eat in the grass, the little bugs, those kind of things. So I want to get them outside as soon as possible. So that way they can start getting help. Hi, Bailey. She's stuck in the truck. Well, she's not stuck. The door's open. She just chooses not to come out. So, all of that that you just saw was built with, again, excess stuff. Now, you might say, hey, Mike, you know, we don't have that. I don't have that. Um, okay, I, I get it. Go online and look for free wood, pallets, metal, take down a barn, things like that. And then that's what you use to keep it cheap. So, oh, they're, sorry, the, the, these teenagers were setting their order and they're starting to argue a bit this thing's ridiculously heavy so i look forward i need to build another one i might i don't think i'll be able to have time to do it today considering what else i want to do cleaning out the child pond the kitty pond for the uh, the ducks getting their home cleaned up so but these are things that you know joel salatin talks about in his book it's just making it work um finding ways to do it. So this metal here, bloop, now that is from a uh, shed that I tore down. And then the chicken wire was found around the farm. And so, and everything else is scrap wood um, or excess wood. So we're just making it happen. So yeah, and now they're outside. They'll be free range like that. Um, the problem with free range is you have you know duck crap and chicken crap that happens everywhere and so you do want to you know in order to have a a life i guess i don't know how to put it this is life I, I like my life but in order not to have the chicken stuff everywhere um you might want to fence in an area that is your patio etc but if uh, i mean here's you know our part of our home that this area is not there's a, a drive that goes down this way. That's our neighbor's place. Um, this tree line here, that's that's our tree line. Our chickens have learned, I mean, they don't go outside of it. They'll go back here. This is all ours. And the, there's a fence up here they go up to and they clear out and they just, they just hunt for bugs all day long. That's what they do. So we're, uh, it's going really well. But that, you know, that took a couple of hours uh, never built one before. I think the next one will go a little faster because I kind of, in my head, I'm like, okay, I could I could make this go a little faster by doing X, Y, and Z to make it go quicker. So, but it works, um, and it's lightweight. It really is. I need to put a hand, uh, you know a hinge system or something to so water in it is easier. But that's what we got. So, you guys, um, that's what we got going on. Take care.